Kawasaki hulls are gel coated. They're SMC fiberglass gel coat. That is the most durable combination that there is on the market today. It's also the heaviest. All right. But when you pull up on a beach, would you like to take 150 grit sandpaper and run it across your hull? Take 300 grit sandpaper if you're on a Florida beach where you have a nice, really soft sand. Three or 400 grit sandpaper. Would you take it? Would you take a wood block, wrap it in 300 grit sandpaper, and go and run it up the front? So again, sand is the enemy, the worst enemy of your watercraft. And I'm just talking Kawasaki Joko. All right. Now let's pretend you shallow start your ski. Let's say you're in a foot and a half of water. The reason why every manufacturer says do not start a ski in less than three feet of water is because of the suction created by the jet pump. All right. You can suck up rocks off the ground in less than three feet. A rock. I'm not talking a boulder. I'm not talking something the size of this piston. I'm talking little pebbles and little rocks. They get sucked up into your prop. I know I'm not supposed to say prop. It's impeller. But it gets pulled into your impeller. All right? And inexplicably, those little bastards get hooked up into the le- into the leading edge of your impeller, and they bite, and they lock up your engine. All right? Bends your impeller. Or gets stuck in the stator veins. And now your stator veins are locked up with a rock in it. And have a good time trying to knock that boy out. Okay? But let's say it's not a rock. Let's say you're in an absolute piece of paradise with white beach sands and everything looks cherry pie. There's not a rock to be seen in miles. Okay, fine. You turn up all that sand and all that silt. And it's whipping around inside of your, inside of your, pump, inside of your pump. Okay? I want to tell you something about a Kawasaki, and I want to tell you something about a Yamaha. Okay? Those engines are cooled along with the inner cooler, along with the exhaust, along with the water uh, water box. They are cooled by the ambient water, the water you're floating in. So that water, full of sand, okay, that milkshakey, sandy, gritty crap, is now going in through your in through your stator, in through the pump, all right? Because I know a lot of people don't know what a stator is. But in through the pump and being pumped through your engine. It's being pumped through your intercooler. It's being pumped through your water box. Now, I know there's going to be someone who's going to be, well, Kevin, there's a filter on the stator. It's going to filter all that sand out. Well, here's what that filter looks like. That's the Yamaha filter that's inside of the stator. It's not a paper screen. It's not a wire screen. It is a piece of injected molded plastic with a bunch of of holes in it. You want to know the diameter of those holes? The same as this ballpoint pen. You could literally take your ballpoint pen and poke it in a single hole. How much sand can get through there? Quite a bit, right? When was the last time you changed the filter on your stator? Do those go bad? Sure, they fill up with crap. When's the last time you've taken the plate off, popped it out, taken the screen out, thrown it in the trash, and put a new one in? Not a lot of people do that, right? So, all that being said, all that sandy crap is going through your engine, okay? Okay? It's going through your intercooler. It's going through your exhaust. And all that sand and all that silt is filling in all the low spots throughout your engine. Hey guys, thanks for hanging out. This clip was taken from our weekly podcast that we record here every Sunday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you want to watch the whole video, you can go to the Watercraft Journal's YouTube channel, go to Playlists, and then click on Live Sessions. You're going to see it there. Otherwise, go ahead and leave a like, a comment, and definitely subscribe to the channel. It helps us grow. And again, thanks again for watching our videos, and we hope to see you soon.